the dominance of index funds, I believe at 28% of the market, it partly due to ETFs, which are more than half of mm -hmm. that. But I gather you are, it's not that you have something against broad ETFs per se. You have something against the narrow ones, the managed ones, and the way people are misusing the broad ones. Is that it? That is exactly it. And, and let me just give it to you a little more specifically. Uh, you know, first, to be crystal clear on this, I couldn't care less if an investor decides to go into the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF or into the Vanguard. I had to create a word for this, a t an acronym to go with ETF, TIF, Traditional mm -hmm. Index Funds. Mm -hmm. They both own exactly the same portfolio. They're both part of the same portfolio. Their returns will be identical. They both go for around five or six basis points uh, at, at the Admiral class level. We had many, many years ago when I was running this place, and I perceived a little bit about the future, and we put on a pricing thing where you got higher returns right. as your average investment rose. And I think now the Admiral threshold is maybe $10,000. So if you're down below $10,000, you're probably paying 10 or 12 basis points. So once you get to 10000 uh, and they will be identical. So I couldn't care less. If I have a little bias against the ETF, it's because you may say and believe that when trouble comes, you will not get out in the middle of the day. The middle of the day, I mean, come on. Uh, and uh, it won't be the point of that at all. Uh, but as long as you avoid that temptation. Because then you can sleep that night. That, that's the reason people get out in the middle of the day. Oh, wait a minute, though. The market went down 300 points in the yeah. middle of the day. You got out and then went up 300 points at the second <laughs> half of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of bouncing around is meaningless. But in the long run, in the long run, that's a nuance, a different, no difference mm -hmm. whatsoever. Uh, so fine, and fine for any broad market index fund, which I, uh, which, in which I would include the total bond market with some limitations, and the total U.S. stock market, the S&P 500, uh, international, and even if you want to put a little chunk into emerging market funds, all total market funds. So the idea of investing with the fruits and nuts, I, it's just, you know, we had, a, when these funds started, somebody brought out, I don't think this is much of a name, by the way, uh, a fund called Emerging Cancer ETF. <laughs> and first of all, it should have been curing emergency cancer or something. It sounded like they were, they were hoping everybody would get emerging cancer. And I, I criticized that particular one in an article I wrote about ETFs in the Wall Street Journal. And the guy who started it wrote me a sort of, I, I, I thought, a kind of plaintive letter. And he said, look, I, I, I deserve the same chance to try my ideas as you deserve when you started the first index fund. Well, is there a difference between selling quality and selling junk? In your first idea. So I, yeah, I guess I gave him a nice answer. Go for it, man. Emerging cancer is long gone. But have things changed? No. Now we have a cloud computing ETF. A cloud computing ETF. I mean, it almost sounds like the way they're computing the ETF, but they're talking about, I suppose, corporations that are involved in cloud computing, which I would have said was every technology company in America, but I don't claim any expertise in that area. So there are these funny little, so it's, a, it's a great big marketing business. Think of something no one else has ever thought of. And therefore at this level, the crazier the idea and the stupider the idea, the less it is <laughs> that other people have thought of it. And then you get bet on the market. I know that's not enough gambling for you. So we'll bet on the market with 100% leverage. Yeah, that's not good enough. 200% leverage, no market there. Bet on the market with 300% leverage. The market will go up three times and down three times, or down, you have your choice uh, as your investment. What sense that makes is beyond my comprehension.